Hey everybody, I'm Doug and this is Doug Does Tech. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Chrome management to start taking control of the Chrome browsers in your environment. I did a similar video on Edge and basically most of the questions I got back was, what about Chrome? So I'm gonna hop in and I'll show you how you can manage Chrome with it. It's new to me, I just figured it out. So uh, a lot of learning here still to do, but I figured I'd make a video showing you how you can take advantage of it. It's pretty easy. So that being said, let's hop into it and let's get to it. All right, so first thing we have to do to start taking over management of Chrome is sign up for a Chrome Enterprise account. And this is how you can manage like Chromebooks and stuff like that and you can push out these policies. Luckily, it's free to take advantage of for their Chrome basics. I think they have like a, an add-on model that you could do for other features, and it gives you kind of that full management suite activity on kind of what your end users are doing. But sign up for an account and you can get in and start taking advantage of it. You'll see here, there is quite a bit of like setup guides once you get into it and then you can come in and activate. The big things is you just come in and start turning on the big features. You can set up OUs and stuff like that to start managing your devices, and you want to enable like the reporting aspect of it first. That's gonna be the most important thing to get on so you can see it. And then the second one is this enroll browsers option. This is gonna be just like we did with Edge. We can start taking manage of it. Right, and so we can come in here, sign up for it. And for each of the kind of the OUs, we can get an enrollment token. And so this token will let your browsers start reporting in to your devices. All right, so in my, my case, I'm gonna push this out via Intune. All right, and so we can come in here and we just need to use a simple Intune policy and we can push and start managing Chrome in this Chrome management interface. So I'm gonna to go to my devices, windows, and configuration profiles and create a new policy. It's gonna be in the Windows 10 and later, and settings catalog is the one I ended up doing with it, right? So in this case, we're gonna call this Dev Chrome, Chrome Management. Okay. And then in here, there's obviously a bunch of Chrome settings that you can take advantage of, right? And you can just come to this and start scrolling through and, and find it in here. But I had a hard time finding like it in this massive list because of course we can manage Chrome with Intune and in it. it's just maybe not as easy or might not be as many features and it might be more difficult in my opinion to manage it all this way. So instead, let's just search for just the pure token uh, option and we can uh, add that into this mix here. Should be tokens. Ah, there we go. Oh, I think I just clicked it back. All right, token, there we go. You gotta search for that. And then there we go. Now we can add the enrollment token and I'm gonna do the desktop one in this. And that's essentially what we need from this policy. In this case, I'm gonna paste in my enrollment token, next, next, and then we can just assign it out to our devices. And boom, just like that, we can deploy it and we are gonna have this kind of deployed out to our, our machines. Okay, so after that, then it's just a matter of going into your Chrome and waiting for that token to show up. You can check, obviously, and do the Intune sync things and have to wait for that, but it will start peering in your Chrome under the policies. Just like in Edge, we can go to Edge slash policies, we can go to in Chrome and set up these Chrome policies. And in my case, uh, right, you can see here, I've been messing with this a little bit since I started working on it today. And this Chrome enrollment token is now set from what? Platform, right? So the Intune config, right? This could be GPO for you maybe, or some other management interface. You could be setting this in here, but that's where it is. And then you'll see here, all of these other configs I'm able to do with the Chrome interface. So really cool, it's almost the exact same as the edge management, it's just done by Google. Uh, and then, you know, what I'm seeing and testing with it, um, almost all the same configs are there, and so we can use this to pop in and start looking at kind of everything that's going on here. All right, so once that's done, then it's just a matter of, you know, 
setting up all the things in here and having it in, right? And so once your devices have checked in, you can see here I have a couple different devices. It's now set up for enrollment and we can do this. All right, I'm gonna skip out of this, right? You can still walk through all of this stuff, but I just wanna show you kind of the interface here so you can start uh, looking at kind of what's going on here. So obviously the, the Chrome browsers here on the left is gonna be related to the Chrome browser. Again, they have all of the things in here so that you could do all the other Google things, like if you had Chromebooks or something like that, you could definitely manage that all in this interface, and that's kind of pretty cool. Um, but we can start taking advantage of it. To manage the uh, the settings here, oh, I forgot, I, had to, I turned this off. We want to turn on all the reporting. It seems to be the like a lot of stuff really needs the reporting on, and you want to have it in here. That way you can, can see like what do people have installed on their devices, and honestly, I might just turn on reporting like the first thing I ever do and turn it on globally just so I can get stats about like what are people doing with their browser, right? Think of it as like if we ever go back and start doing like, um, you know, extension management, which I uh, forgotten already where the extensions are at in here. We can use this to come in and there we go, uh, see what's out there of like who has what deployed in their environment, you know, who has these things turned on. We can come in and explore this in our environments using it seeing it in here i think it was in here this overview it showed it it's it's still new to me not the best on this one but that's all right all right you'll get used to it right again everything's on the left stick with the chrome browser next when we deploy this then we want to start managing a lot of the settings in the environment right and so you can come in and start setting up you know all of the normal like organizational stuff right and add it to the thing pop it in and just start looking at the settings here to manage it a couple of the big ones that i think i want to do and have in here is going to be this um, azure one azure cloud authentication that seems like a really good one to enable especially for me because i want my chrome to automatically see, do the single sign-on stuff with it and i don't want to have to necessarily always do that and so having it support enter ID and the work account school stuff, I feel like that's a win to have a lot of that data in there and have it shared across the interface so that they can have in, submit the device credentials and stuff like that. Cause I think that's included, right? And it gets rid of that old single sign on application. So that's probably the most important one I want on here, right? Obviously there's other things that we could do um to take advantage of it Ooh, microsoft office and i keep on I keep on discovering new ones that i'm like oh i need to test that in here but yeah a lot of good stuff we can take advantage of and start configuring the main um probably one i'm most interested in is the browser extension ones coming in and forcing browsers on for forcing the management of the browsers in my environment that to me is kind of the, the most critical thing that I have been struggling with and want to take over with. And just like in Edge, we can do all of that type of stuff. We can manage that. All right. So first things first, obviously, you want to go in and look at what extensions people have installed and then add it to your list of, you know, is that OK? Is that not OK? Right. Come in, do that. Once you have, obviously, your um extensions you can come in and obviously force your own extensions on to, out to the the employees you come to this users app extensions users and browsers and then the plus button will appear and then we can add in extensions by like the chrome id so you can see here i push the defender browser and then the purview extensions out and then i set them to force install not just an allow install All right so that's cool get those up and running and then what you can do is come into the settings and lock out all the other ones that we don't want them to you. And so in this case, what we're going to do is block all apps, admin manages allow list. And then for Chrome Web Store, we want to block all apps and admin allows, but also include the request extension. And so that will essentially lock out all the other crazy things that our end users have deployed in our environment. And so we can use that, we can have that in here, and then you can have the requests available to you. So if an end user came in and said, ooh, I want bookmarks quick search or whatever, you can come in and see like, who are the users that requested it? And then we can say, hey, yeah, that's allowed, right? Come in and look at who this was. This was Jeff Leatherman, and he put the justification needed, right? 
Um, yeah, maybe a little bit more detail on that would be helpful, but that could be in there. And this is kind of built into it, right? So if I came into, you know, my extensions web store and then activated, right? I can just come into any of these things and then they, they're going to kind of be able to use this. So if I came into this and said, Hey, I want to use Monica, it's just knows and then it can request in this job and that's how right that's going to look for this if you're doing a lot of testing right and like hey i tested this feature i tested this feature remember here go to this chrome policies and this road reload policies and it'll wipe out your current policies and then let you download it, all of the new ones in here so pretty cool pretty nice set of features I'm not gonna go in and tell you every setting that you might wanna go in here, but I just wanted to make a quick video of showing you like how you can get up and running, um, use this doing the same kind of thing here, looking at this, looking at the reports, see what apps and extensions are out there, right? Of, you know, who would need this option. I like this aspect of this Chrome one a little bit more than maybe the Edge ones, having this reporting of all the extensions that are actively installed, making it available is very nice. I didn't see this in the edge area. So that's really cool to have like all of this stuff here and then be able to look at it and say, hey, yeah, I see there's a bunch of people that have this in their environment. Okay, let's go ahead and, you know, block this or force install and maybe bring this under management for this. So cool stuff. Um, I hope this video helps you. It's a quick one um, and good luck and stay safe out there.